morning guys it is february 14th so it's valentine's day it is a little bit before noon and i have decided after spending most of my morning getting sensible mama stuff done that i'm going to pause on business stuff today and spend my day doing a full house cleaning this is going to be challenging because i have um, abby who's home all day and i have roman who will be back from school in about an hour. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get done, but I'm gonna tackle as much as possible. It's not gonna be a deep clean. It's going to be more of a like declutter and just sort of like clean off all of my surfaces. So I'm gonna bring you along with me and I'm gonna see how much I'm able to get done today with two little kids. Um, sometimes when there are two children in the house and you're trying to clean, the net gain ends up being zero because as you're getting one area clean, your children are destroying the other. But we're gonna see, I'm optimistic and hopefully Hopefully at least the high up surfaces get clean today. That's actually my goal. Let's just get the high up surfaces nice and clean. Us girls are gonna clean the house, huh? Gonna get the house nice and clean? Yeah. Abby made it clear right off the bat that I was going to have to wear her. So she got to come along as I began my first task, which was unloading the dishwasher. <laughs> And then because I had put off unloading the dishwasher for as long as humanly possible, I next had to completely fill it back up again because my sink was full of dishes that were dirty. I knew that my main focus was going to be deep cleaning, but before I could do that, I had to get all of the clutter off of all of the surfaces in my kitchen because it had really, really backed up after a super busy week. But I always get distracted while I'm cleaning and I happened to notice that I had this water jug and some strawberries that were gonna go bad soon. So I decided to derail the cleaning process and put together some diffused water. I knew I would enjoy it later and it was a good way to not let the strawberries go bad. So I'm gonna give myself a pass. <laughs> Here I'm using Mrs. Meyer's All Surface Cleaner because this is actually safe for granite and that's actually kind of hard to come by. So things are actually going pretty well, except I've realized that this kitchen needs more work than I thought. And I'm gonna have to go grab Abby. So I've actually decided to make this a kitchen cleaning video instead of a full house cleaning video. I don't know how I'm gonna get around what I did in my intro in terms of what I'm gonna do with my title, but that doesn't matter. The new game plan is to actually deep clean this kitchen. My floors are disgusting. I just, I'm not gonna feel right moving away from here until I actually do this the right way. So that's what we're gonna do. Now we're ready for business. I like to keep a little tray with all of my dishwashing stuff sitting right by the sink. And all of that stuff is running a little bit low, so I decided to spend a little bit of time today and fill all that stuff back up. Ooh. 
Next, I wanted to clean my stainless steel appliances and I like to use borax for that. I just mix a little bit of borax with some hot water and some lemon juice to give it a nice smell. And this is what I use on my sink, my stove, my refrigerator, anything that's a stainless steel surface. As you can see here, it was gross. <laughs> so it was really time to get after it with a really, really strong cleaning agent like borax. Sometimes borax can leave kind of a gritty film on your appliances, so I like to follow back up with some vinegar wipes that just kind of take that grit away and leave everything looking really polished and clean. been a while since I had really deep cleaned this stove and I know it's not terrible but it's pretty bad and I was ready to really really get in there and get all of this kind of caked on grime off so I'm going back to using that borax cleaner because it just works so well especially on built up tough grease like this This part of the video is actually several hours later after everything else that I recorded. I had lots of interruptions with my children and just life, but I decided to spend the rest of the evening getting the last bits of my kitchen all straightened up. And one of the biggest things that I wanted to do from an aesthetic perspective was just get my little coffee bar set up in a way that looked good and was efficient for making coffee. I knew I was running out of time in the day, but the last thing that I wanted to try to get done was to get this fridge cleaned up. It's got lots of little kid fingerprints and peanut butter and all kinds of stuff just everywhere. So again, I'm using that borax to clean the entire fridge. This stuff is safe for the refrigerator. It's safe for anything that is stainless steel. I have found that it leaves some streakiness at first, but you have to let it dry. And once it dries, the streakiness just goes away. And if it doesn't go away on its own, you can just use a paper towel to sort of go over the streaks and they'll come right off. For this part, I wanted to leave the camera running and let you guys see how the streaks just go away as the refrigerator starts to dry. You can see here all that streakiness just disappears as the solvent dries and airs out a little bit.
So now I'm just taking a paper towel back over that surface just to get any last bit of streakiness out of it. Okay, well, it's uh, almost six o'clock and I'm pretty much out of natural sunlight, so I'm not sure how good this is gonna look with my lighting the way that it is. But uh, let me go ahead and show you how everything turned out because I'm pretty happy, especially given how many interruptions I had today. Let's get you some more milk. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Good job.